Hello, welcome to this speed build of a pub called the Giraffe and Whippet. So today I am building whilst streaming on Twitch. So that's why you can see me just sort of talking away while I'm building in the corner there. But yeah, so I, I just started by having a bit of an interesting shape um, and I really wanted to use foundations because I always, always, always don't use foundation. I was like, well, actually, at the back of this pub I want there to be like outdoor dining for when it's like really nice weather so yeah so I just sort of made a bit of a shape and went with it really so uh, right now I'm trying to get the aesthetic of a you know a classic English pub with uh, an outdoor beer garden kind of vibe I don't know uh, you'll see me uh, start pulling up like some websites to try and find a good a good feel a good um inspiration for this um as well uh, later in the video but yeah I'm kind of I, I kind of call this look Tudor in my head but I don't think that's what it's called at all but if I refer to it as that in this video then just just bear with me as you I, I kind of I hope you know what I mean but if you are a player of The Sims 4 I guess the the vibe of Windenburg is kind of what I'm going for here but yeah I, a lot of um uh, pubs that I see that are like this in real life they have the the little like bay windows so yeah that's what I'm looking at here um I'm trying to find maybe oh, some alternate bay windows I could download for the game but um I think I just gave up on it eventually but whilst looking at those I did find uh, a good idea so I've made obviously the top bit like a brick with the with the, the sort of I want to call them uh Oh, let's just call them pillars but I, I don't know what I'm thinking of but but then I, for the bottom floor I really like the stone look so I, I made the bottom floor stone I really like that and it actually ties in way way better with the, what I do downstairs as well later on but yeah I kind of went for instead of bay windows I, I just went for something that I already had installed which was the windows with the the like they're like shutters but you don't actually ever use them I see so many houses with them, but you, you know, they did never actually use them. They're kind of just a look thing now, but yeah. So yeah, I decorated the outside with some windows, um, but I kind of focus in on the front bit in a minute. Uh, so I think I, I put a back door in because <laughs> I didn't want to forget to do that before putting the window windows in. But yeah, I, um, I just sort of pad out with some windows and some lighting on the outside where you're going to enter as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of working this from the outside in, um, this build because I just, I, I prefer to do that. I think I've done that on this channel quite a lot, especially in The Sims 4. But yeah, um, so I, I was, <laughs> so what I do here is I find all of the outdoor signs <laughs> and try and find one that you could kind of have as a pub sign. And I think I chose one with like a stag on it and then I put some hanging baskets outside and then... I put some little planters yeah and uh, just made sure that the outside looked kind of pubby because I do realize this could just be a very large house really with a big back garden so I'm kind of just trying to make it look a bit more like it's got you know more than a house in it it's actually not equipped to be a house at all it's a pub but I guess actually some pubs have got uh, are like converted houses so I, I, I see this a lot so you'll just have like a load of houses and then halfway down a street there'll be a house that's just not a house anymore it's a it's a pub but yeah uh, so maybe th th this is kind of like that but actually it's detached so why would it be like that um but anyway so yeah uh, I obviously wanted to have this as kind of like a a pub that served food so um i'm adding i just added in the two uh, cooking stations for the i think that came with nightlife or something but yeah i i just knew that i wanted them to be like waiters and waitresses uh, waitresses and things like that um serving food as well as uh, having people stood at the bars so you can get a drink and stuff close as you can get to a pub in this but yeah um when I was a kid, I w we went to this pub and it had a, a park out the back. So that's why I just quickly added in um, a park for the kids to play on. Because <laughs> then, I don't know, um, it'd be quite cool to just like bring your kid to the to the pub and maybe have a meal out and uh, like while you're sat on the back bit. 
and then the kid can just be like oh yeah I'm just gonna go and play and maybe meet some friends or whatever but yeah <laughs> that's what I was imagining when I built that but yeah um I'm trying to kind of trying to make a bar out of the the bars that are in the game and I actually do quite a good job of making it look quite seamless um, if I do say so myself without download downloading any additional custom content, I obviously use custom content in this build and uh, we've already used it with the with the windows and the door I think as well, but yeah, I, I have um, I, I really wanted to make it as close to like a proper uh, pub that you'd find uh, where I live which is in the UK, so yeah, <laughs> I just I'm just going with it and yeah, you sometimes have these these uh, walls of like booth I call them booth seats and then you'd have like the horrible rundown chairs that have been there for like decades so I kind of I just made a few tables with that kind of layout uh, and obviously put some a mix I think I did a mix of uh, the the bar stools and then the bars with the bar stools with like backs on as well uh, because I couldn't decide so I was just like oh yeah they'd, pro they'd probably have a mix and match of like what they've had over the years and then I made like a little games area because that's quite common put the poker table in there uh yeah I had to have the hosting station at the front which I guess sometimes you do get like in a pub you do have kind of a hosting station sometimes if you if they have the ability to book tables uh, when they do have a kitchen so I thought that that wasn't too far-fetched um and just quickly adding in some uh some wallpaper and stuff i think this randomly changed for me as well to the stone and i actually liked it more than what i chose to begin with so i kind it's one of those things where it's like i don't know how i did that but happy mistake so <laughs> yeah um i'm kind of adding in more lighting here because i've realized it was really dark and you know nighttime exists so i was just kind of going through and remembering the stuff that I usually forget <laughs> which is you know a, a big deal for me uh I realized as well that you know the waiters haven't really got an easy way to get out to all the tables so I was doing that um I was, I was adding in a door there uh and then I just sort of got to adding more bits and pieces to the outside um what I was looking for here was a little um like you know the the signs that kind of stand up and they're in like a triangle shape, like a ch with a chalkboard on either side. That's what I was looking for when I was just outside there, but I didn't find it. And then I'm trying to go for the the look of like having like a bunch of like there's like usually like a load of gins and a load of um, like brandies and whiskies and stuff all on the wall behind the bar. Um, and I added all these these shelves in that were perfect, perfect shelves. But then there were, there's nothing that looks like alcohol um, actually in The Sims 2 game, and I didn't have any CC of it, so. I think I did throw in some some uh, wine. Like I think I found like something that looked a bit like a wine. I think it was a wine rack actually. But yeah, oh, I added the fireplace in and it looks so good. Like I think it really needed it. Um, and yeah, this is me like adding in these pillars. I had to use move objects and I, and I did play test it and it didn't make any many any issues at all, so, which was really good. Uh, but yeah, I. I kind of, I just, I know that the bars in real life that I've been to are very secluded and they've got stuff hanging from the ceiling. They've got the, the, the drinks all behind. Um, they have got even like behind the counters underneath, they've got like a ton of shelving with loads of stuff behind there as well. That's the wine rack I was talking about. Um, I think I mixed the shelves and that eventually. Oh, the deer heads on the, the deer head on the wall as well. And then just like sort of random old timey, um, uh paintings on the wall that just really it just really hit it for me I was the more the more time I spent on this which I think took me about two hours two and a half hours to do in full I I, I just the more time I spent on it the more I loved it <laughs> so um yeah I I hope that it's apparent in it how how it turns out as well but yeah I really like it and I put window I put mirrors along the back to just to try and make it feel more like cramped as well oh yeah and I added the giraffe onto the one of the bars there because I was like well it's the giraffe and whip it you know <laughs> I've got to throw something um giraffey or whippy in there and I had that giraffe custom content in there so I was just like yeah that, that's perfect and this is me adding the outdoor seating so people can uh, dine I hope the people can dine out here I didn't actually test that but yeah but yeah more more um just decorating outside i think i had a few trees and some plants just to make it look like it's looked after 
uh, and you know it's just lived in and you know just to decorate <laughs> so yeah so sort of, you know I think I, I make it look pretty good I, I like to make it so that it's not just all one uniform grey area uh, not grey area but green grass but yeah uh, yeah so I just made this just a sort of unofficial um, entrance just so that people, sims could get down if they wanted to that way uh, alternate exit and all that fire safety i think i did actually add some fire safety stuff in the ceilings yeah if you i'm, I'm going pretty fast at this point but if you have a, a look at any other point in the video i think you can just see my little fire exit <laughs> door um, uh, signs that i put on the ceiling but yeah this is the bit where i added in some bedrooms so i know that this isn't really usable in the game uh, but yeah the toilets are upstairs because that's such a classic pub thing by the way um it's got to be done. I had to make them upstairs, even if I didn't make the, the hotel bedroom sort of vibe things. I, I had to make the toilets upstairs. It's just a rule. OK, just go with it. But yeah, <laughs> I would quickly just throw it through some uh, uh, some bathroom stalls in. And then uh, I think I just chucked a urinal in the men's as well. Uh, but yeah. After I finished doing this, um, oh yeah, I there were no hand dry. There's no hand dries in The Sims 2, so I had to just put like a, a towel on the wall, but for that. But yeah, I really, I don't know. But yeah, I just made these these bedrooms very very um, samey. I just copied and pasted. So I made one design and then copied and pasted it to all the others. Um, it's very pubby to have like four poster bed as well um and i just i know every time i go out and I, I go in a hotel there's always always a desk always a shoddy place to <laughs> hang your uh, clothes or whatever um i'm trying to find something here to put on the uh, desk and i was like towels of course towels which is a bit of con some content that i had so yeah i was throw it through some uh, um some towels on each desk and then i think i put a phone which is usually next to the bed uh and yeah, I just copied this to literally every single um, room. And then the one at the end was um, a lot larger than the rest. So I just put a little seating area. I've seen that before in um, in hotels as well. Uh, but yeah, I really, really liked it. Really liked how it turned out. And then I put a little telly um, above the door. And then I went down, added some uh, music to be blasted out downstairs. Added in, I actually remembered to add in uh, curtains and like blinds and stuff as well, which I'm really proud of myself for. Thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll take my medal. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the build really. Uh, this is me having a look at it. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy this video, please do remember to subscribe. Uh, also check me out over on Twitch, which is where I recorded this live. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.